Hey YouTube, this is Everything Epan here, and today I'm doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows XP uh, Dark Edition in VirtualBox or VMware. Um, now, it's actually called Dark Light Edition, but um, it's, it's um, I'm just going to call it the Dark Edition um, for Windows XP. But this is basically a uh, skin version of Windows XP. Uh, kind of like the how the gold edition was a skin edition um, and also Vienna edition was like a uh, skinned version of Windows XP so it's kind of similar to those but just a dark edition so let's go ahead and get into the uh, tutorial here so you want to go to VirtualBox and create a new machine And then I just recommend to leave it at the 32-bit, hit next. You can bump up the RAM if you want, or you can leave it where it's at. I'm going to bump it up to 512 megs. And then you'll want to create your 10 gig uh, virtual hard drive default set at. And then hit storage, hit the empty disk, then go find the uh, ISO right here, Windows XP Dark Edition. Hit OK. And then start it up. And then it will uh, start up the virtual machine into this bootloader right here. And you'll want to, uh, the mouse is a little glitchy, or you can use the arrow keys. Do dark light original. Um, I mean, if you're doing a SATA, um, do that. But like, normally I just do the original. And then it will go into the blue screen window setup. And then after that, it will. Uh, It'll say starting Windows. And then it'll go to the uh, spot where you need to select where to install it. And the only spot is 10 gig space, so just hit enter. Go up to NTFS file system quick and hit enter. And now it's going to format the drive. It'll do an examination of the drive. And then it will start to copy files. So just let this sit for a little while and then it should reboot into the bootloader so I'll be back with you guys once we hit that bootloader alright so it'll reboot into here and you want to do boot from hard disk it's already got that automatically selected it so it should already do that anyway but make sure to do boot from hard disk and then it will say starting windows and then load up the next part of the setup into the GUI interface so um, and it'll have the uh, windows it's the dark light edition technically is what it is it has that kind of background that they have for it and uh, I don't know if it skips over the dialogues or not but or like the uh, windows that does like the language and everything but we'll see um, so just let it load for a little bit um, and I'll be back with you guys either if we hit a um, the language or setting up screen or if we hit a restart point all right so it'll restart it does pass the dialogue screens there will be no screens, they'll just go straight through the setup. So now just do the uh, boot from hard disk option again, and uh, it'll load up into the rest of the setup. And uh, this will be the adjust the screen resolution. So hit OK, and then hit OK again. Let's say, please wait. should load up the rest of the setup or who knows maybe it'll log you right in I'm not sure sit there. Yep. so to say welcome to Microsoft Windows um, go ahead and hit next on this screen mm, excuse me um, then do either one of these options and hit next and it'll check for internet connectivity and then I'll do a local area network hit next do no not at this time hit next type in a username and then hit next and it should play the log on sound.
So that's the Windows uh, dark light uh, log on sound. So that is, this is kind of the, uh, it's a nice little skin they did here. I, li I like this. It does look kind of nice the way that they did it. And if you right click on my computer and hit properties, it'll say Microsoft Windows XP Professional Edition Service Pack 3 version 5.1 uh, dark, light, dark light edition version 2011 so um, this is created by catalog K so if you guys see him anywhere or if you guys find him anywhere get, I'll excuse me credit to him on this uh, operating system I like it a lot so there you go guys that's how to install Windows XP dark edition in VirtualBox for VMware thank you guys for watching uh, don't forget to like the video if it helped you out or if you enjoyed um, don't forget to share the video as well and comment ideas down below um, on what I should do in the future and don't forget to subscribe for more videos once again thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video